Hey y'all, so um, I'm back today with a um, birch box video. Um, I got it in the mail today, my November birch box. Um, it was, like, I wasn't really expecting it to come today. Um, I've just been in my pajamas all day, so um, I'm just gonna do it like this and not, you know, be in front of the camera or anything. Um, it's been a long day and I just don't feel like it, so... <laughs> Um, one of the pro I've already opened this and looked at the stuff, but I haven't like tested anything out. Um, and I put everything back exactly how it was um, because I couldn't film the video like the second I got it in the mail. Um, so, like I said, I put everything back just how it was. Um, one of the products though, I just I had a feeling that I should that I should go through it before I made the video. So when I went through it, one of the products in here, um, when I show you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it was like all hard and dried out. Um, so I emailed a uh, birch box already and, um, I'm waiting on a reply back. Hopefully, you know, I can send, you know, that particular sample back and they can, you know, send me a new one that isn't all hard and dried out. <laughs> Um, so I can use it, but, um, yeah, they usually get back to you pretty fast. Um, I've never had this problem before where there was something wrong with something that I got in a birch box. Um, so, yeah, but let's just get started. So, this is the box, what, um, yeah, there you go. It is so pretty, oh my god, so pretty. Um, I love it, and, um, yeah, so let's just open it. So, here's the little card. Um, sorry the lighting's messed up. It's 6 o'clock at night and it's been getting darker because it's getting colder outside. So, it's almost pitch black outside. So, that's why it's kind of dark. But, November birch box. Um, and then, on the, the their little note card is really cute too this month. And then, on, there's all the stuff on the back. So, let's get started. <clears throat> Trying to do this with one hand. Okay. So the first thing, the first thing is this little uh, pillow pouch. Um, it's gold. It's got a B on it. And I'm trying to open this one. The shit off. Okay. <clears throat> so in that little pillow pouch came two products. The first one is this um Catherine Malandrino um, Style of Paris um, <clears throat> Perfume Sample um, and let's smell it to see what it smells like. Damn it. There we go. Hopefully I can open it without spilling it. Hmm. It smells, um, honestly, it smells kind of like nail polish. Um, it, it's, it's, a sh it's strong. It's very strong. Um, it's kind of florally, but it's got like a musk to it. Um, and it's got, I just feel like it has like a nail polish smell to it. Um, I don't know. We'll see about that one. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to like that particular um, perfume, but we'll see. <clears throat> and then the next thing that was in that little pillow pouch was this right here. And I actually picked this out in the uh, sample choice, which you can't see. There we go. It is, um, whoops. Oh, I didn't even tell you. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, so sorry. I didn't even tell you um, about the perfume. The perfume retails for, wow, the full size ranges from $65 to $110. Um, it says, the designer scent mingles summery fruits and florals for an elegant vibe. Uh, I wouldn't describe it like that, but whatever. <laughs> um, so anyways... <clears throat> This is the, um, lock, I guess, I don't know if it's L-O-C or just pronounced, uh, lock. It is the, 
Um, it is Birchbox's new, like, makeup line. Um, you could pick between, like, a lip pencil or a, like, eyeshadow stick. So, I just went with the, um, eyeshadow stick. And this is, like, a deep brown gold color. And it's in the color Impress Me. You probably can't even see that. I'm so sorry about the light, you guys. But there it is. It's in the color Impress Me. And let me open it so I can swatch it for you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to use my teeth to open it. Um, hmm. Hang on just a second. Ooh. Oh my god, this lighting really sucks. But, um, it is like a deep gold it's it's like a brown like a deep chocolate brown but it has it's it's got like a gold finish almost um it is really pretty i can't wait to play with that and the texture is so smooth it glides on so well um like i i mean it, it was like it wasn't even like butter going on it was just so so smooth a lot smoother than butter let me put this lid back on. Okay. So the full size of this retails um, $10. The one and done eyeshadow stick. Impress me. It says a creaseless waterproof shadow with shades curated by YouTube beauty star Toddy Westbrook. I don't know who that is. Um, so that retails for $10. <clears throat> Um, you know, honestly, I do feel like I have a lot of shades like this already. Um, but when I was doing the sample choice, I, they really didn't give me a lot to choose from. Pretty much, um, every choice that they had on there was something that was like a color that, you know, I had, uh, already owned. Um, so the next thing um, which is a very good size. I'm glad. Wow. Okay. This is the, um, E Salon Perfect Ending Leave-In Conditioner. It says lightweight and nourishing. It's for all hair types and it's one ounce. So this is basically like a little travel size. Um, nourish your hair color. Oh my God. So I'm so glad I got this because I actually just re-dyed my hair about a week ago. Um, so I can totally use this tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really, really excited to use this. Um, let me see if I can open it and tell you what it smells like. Hmm, it smells pretty good. It smells kind of florally, fruity, like a good, like a really good smelling, uh, conditioner. That's what it smells like. That's all I know how to describe it as. <clears throat> That retails for $15, the full size. It says, the colorist approved formula detangles, fights frizz, and, prevent, and prevents breakage. All while locking in moisture and shine. Yeah, and the full size is $15. <clears throat> the next thing, it was very intriguing. Um, <laughs> I've never heard of anything like this before. This is by the company Make. Let me make you see. Okay, there we go. It's called Make. It's by the company Make. And this is a face gloss. Um, yes, I said face gloss. I have never heard of a face gloss before. I'm pretty sure a lot of people haven't. <laughs> um, it's kind of scary though because I have oily skin. Um, very oily skin and large pores. So, I'm afraid as to how this is going to make them look. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really scared to use this. But, I don't get Birchbox for nothing. So, I will give it a try. <clears throat> um, it says, refresh and brighten dry, dull skin. Hmm. Um... The card says the the full size retails for twenty five dollars. 
It says, with minimal effort, this colorless, vitamin-rich formula refreshes dull skin. Tip, pat on desired areas with fingertips or brush for subtle radiance. So, I am very curious about this. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and put a little on, my, on like the back of my hand and just see. <clears throat> Hang on, let me put the camera down right quick so I can do this. Okay, so there's a little glob I put right there. You can see that. And let me rub it in. Ooh. Hmm. Um. Hmm. It doesn't have a smell to it or anything. I don't even know if you can see. Right there. There you go. You can see, like, that, that sheen, that shine a little bit. That, that right there. So the texture is, <clears throat> like, a really, really, really thin thick um smashbox photo finish primer just you know like the texture of the smashbox primers with all the silicone in it that's what the texture feels like a little bit um but a lot thicker like a combination of smashbox uh, uh face primer and um lip gloss like a clear thick jelly gloss um it's just kind of like sitting on top of the skin. It's not really blending in. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's not like sinking into the skin like I would think it would. Um, I mean, I'll try that. I'll give that a try tomorrow when I do my makeup tomorrow. <clears throat> but I'm really skeptical. So this is the last product. Um, this is the Somebody Salt Scrub. It says stimulating exfoliation, and it's it, it, it describes the product as milky rich. Now, this is the product that I was talking about that's all dried up and hard, and um, yeah. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Um, since it's describing it as milky rich, I don't think it is. So that's why I emailed Birchbox about it. Um, I just don't want to use it you know, and it be, you know, like, just a bad tub of it, um, and then, you know, me think badly about the product because it didn't work, you know what I mean, and then, like, I wouldn't want to buy the full size or anything because I went off a bad product, like, when I just got, got a bad tub of it, um, so that's why, you know, I just contacted them just to make sure that it's supposed to be like that, and if it's not, to get a replacement, um, so I can, really give like a full-fledged honest opinion on it um but the full size of this retails for $18.95 and it says this exfoliator buffs away dull skin with sea salt and hydrates with shea butter so this is a this is a one ounce tub and let me show you what I'm talking about hang on It smells, um, it almost like reminds me of the beach in a way. Yeah, I mean, you can like press it down, but it's just, it, like when I pick it up and put it on my skin, um, it's more like just straight salt almost going on my skin. Um, like there's just no like creamy shea butter in there that I would think to hydrate the skin and um when I got it um when I picked up the jar you know I was shaking it a little bit and it like I could hear it moving around in the jar because it was like all stuck together um hang on so yeah you can hear it when I close the lid I don't know if you can hear it or not, but you can tell just by shaking it from the outside that it's like all stuck together in one big piece in there because it's not milky, it's not creamy like it's describing it. Um, so like I said, you know, I, I'm not sure, you know, if they just gave me a bad tub of it or what, but hopefully they get back with me on that one soon so I can try it out because um, for the past couple weeks, 
you know, I've been kind of thinking to myself, you know, I should really exfoliate my skin, but I don't have an exfoliator. So, I'm glad that I received this. I really am. Um, I just wish it wasn't a bad tub. So, that was um, all the stuff that I got shit, from my birch box this month. Um, well, I'm just dropping everything. Screw it. Okay. There's everything I got from my birch box this month. Um, I don't even know if you can see the... They're black, so they're blending in. The other samples. Um... So, yeah, that's what I got this month. I'm pretty happy. Um, the perfume sample, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. I'll just have to wait, you know, until I can, like, put it on my skin to know for sure. The leave-in conditioner, I'm super stoked about that. I will be using it tonight in the shower and getting my review up on their site ASAP. Um, the face gloss, like I said, a little skeptical about that, but I'll give it a try. The scrub. I'm just going to wait for to hear back from Birchbox before I try to dig in uh, dig into this because I don't want to use it and then them say, yeah, send it back and we'll send you a replacement and then I send them back a used product when, you know, what's the point of using a bad product if it's not going to do what it's supposed to do because it's gone bad. And then we have the eyeshadow stick, which um, I'm glad that I got and I will try it out, but um, like I said, I just have um you know like that same product in uh you know different colors so uh, i mean in the same color so um yeah that i will leave below the uh, total value of this month's box um so yeah also i need to go ahead and film my weekly freebies video so that will be coming up right after this video and i will see you guys later bye